All right. So now we uh yeah uh today we gonna start off uh now I don't want it to turn into a situation like I'm Charlie Murphy. You know, every time, every time we come on camera, you know, old Uncle Stephen got an old story to tell. <laughs> story time with Uncle Stephen. Hey, hey, <laughs> but you know, I got another story I might want to tell y'all here. Yeah, uh, you know, uh, we want to uh, make sure that uh, we. Pull down these strongholds, Michael. What's the what's what's that uh what's that precept for pulling down them strongholds? Yeah, them. Was it you that pulled it? It might have been. It might have been the Elder uh, Tobias pulled it. Pulling down the strongholds. Yeah, he pulled it. Tobias said pulled it. Second Corinthians ten. Second Corinthians. It's Second Corinthians. Yeah. That is that. Yeah. Second Corinthians ten. Yeah. I knew it was ten. I, I thought it was Hebrews. No, it's Second Corinthians. Ten and, four. Ten and four. Ten verse. Three and four, four something like yeah. that. Let's see. Yeah. 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 Okay. So uh read that for me, Patricia. Okay. Second Corinthians chapter ten, verse one. Now I Paul myself beseech you by the meekness and gentleness of Christ, mm -hmm. who in presence and based among you, mm -hmm. but being absent and bold toward you mm -hmm. so he's telling you he he he's bold um uh fighting for uh the spiritual uh doctrine all right he's bold in that all right and he's following christ's doctrine we're spiritual <laughs> <clears throat> read on second corinthians chapter 10 verse 2 but i beseech you that I may not be bold when I am present with the with that confidence mm -hmm. wherewith I think to be bold against some. Mm -hmm. Think of us as if we walked among according to the flesh. All right. So he telling you he bold whenever he correcting them people uh, okay. who think we walking according to the flesh. You see that? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Read. Second Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. That's right. So we, we physically live, okay? We live physically <laughs> in this world. But uh we don't war after the flesh. When we when we when we go out to do our job to explain this stuff to these people. <clears throat> we don't war after the flesh. We we don't believe in the kind of doctrine. We believe in the doctrine that Christ gave us. Y'all see that? Yeah. yeah. Read that. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, mm -hmm. but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. It is our job to pull down these carnal strongholds, okay? And I'm not going to take too much time, right? Because the elder Samuel, he got something he want to say about this question that we received from one of these people, right? And he going he gonna to break down what it's saying. But our job as prophets, spiritual prophets, following the doctrine of Christ is to bring down these carnal strongholds that cause people to err. And these strongholds that's causing people to err are being taught by these carnal camps and these carnal preachers. All right. So our job is to come in here and give the people the understanding that they need. All right. So now what is the stronghold that we're going to be addressing? The stronghold that we're going to be addressing is this situation with uh, slavery. Right? 
the primary scripture that they go to in order to prove the Israelites are certain people. The primary scripture that they go to in order to prove that <clears throat> they go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. So I'm going to go there. Let's go there so we can go on ahead and show the people <laughs> the reason why they go there. Because it says some particular things uh, in that particular scripture. So we're going to go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. Oh, yeah. All right. Check, check, check. Yeah, you back. You back. <clears throat> All right, uh, uh, Prophet Death. I think he back. So we're going to go on here to see whether or not he can fulfill <laughs> his duties. But you know, sat right? in and you did a great job in his stead. I want Absolutely. you to know that. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you see that, right. Prophet? Is, but you see that, Prophet, is what happened? Yes. When God called you, you're going anyway. That's you see right. what you just did? That's when he right. called you, it ain't up to you. That's I'm right. telling you. I you might up, think you do. <laughs> I, I grew up so quiet. Yes. I was so quiet till I became a grown man. That's yeah, right. Then I opened my mouth and spoke. I'm telling you, when he mm -hmm. called you, he'll put you in a position. That's yeah, right. Just yeah, like right. Jonah. Yes. Just like Moses. He said, I don't speak. I, I, I. He said, shut up. Right. <laughs> hey, Mo, hey, Mo, I'm, hey, the one. I'm the one created everything. Don't tell me you yes. ain't going to do it. Guess what? I put it in your mind that you That's will. Right. That's right. That's right. When God fact. call you, <laughs> That's he right. coming. Hey, you see what happened though, don't you? Yes. <laughs> and, and do and do that part and do that part. But it's gonna come a time those people are gonna be calling us so much. I know it's in the scriptures, and I can prove it in the scriptures. They're gonna be calling so much. You're gonna say, you know what? <laughs> Like Christ. Christ was so upset with the Pharisees because he was healing everybody doctor. He mm -hmm. said, I'd rather go to the loss of the house of Israel so they could do their job. Right. That's yes. why he was always bad at them Pharisees. Always. Now look here. <clears throat> you back out of uh, your hand. <clears throat> yes, sir. And you did a wonderful <laughs> job. Wonderful Read. job, sis. Wonderful Read. job. Read this to back up with what Elder Samuel just said. Jeremiah 1 and 4, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly. What's I the belly? Thee. What's the belly? Mind. That's the mind. Y'all yes. got that? See there? Yeah. Read on. And before thou camest forth out of the womb, I sanctified thee. What that mean? He sanctified what? What's the womb? The mind. The mind. He sanctified mind. your mind. You understand? Jeremiah mm -hmm. is talking about you. Mm -hmm. Read on. And I ordained thee a prophet unto the nation. Who ordained him? Who? <laughs> the most high ordained, ordained you. It don't make a difference what nobody say. He ordained you. <laughs> right? <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's before the world even started. Mm -hmm. He already has said, well, uh, they're going to call a prophetess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to need her whenever I get ready to close the thing up. I'm going to call on her. That's yeah. what he said. To he read you or whatever. Mm -hmm. That's right. Read that. Verse six. Then I then said I, Ah, Lord God, behold, I cannot speak, for I am a child. That sounds familiar, Patricia. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> <I'm a big. laughs> yes. Yeah. Read. But the Lord said unto me, Say not. I am a child. You see that? Well, That's a child. commandment. <laughs> Read. 
for thou shalt go to all that I shall send thee. Mm -hmm. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. That's what he said. <laughs> it ain't our fault. I mean, you. The most I chose God, you. God chose you. He chose you. <laughs> we just put you in the platform to do his will because he wants you. <laughs> there ain't nothing you can do. He wants you. Welcome to the party, pal. <laughs> <You're right. laughs> hey, hey, bring up. Uh, you wanted to bring up about the um, slavery, but let me let me tag along with that. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Go to Joshua, chapter one, verse thirteen. Now the children of Israel is all is on one side of the river, mm -hmm. all of them. All of them. But mm -hmm. look, look what God told Joshua. Joshua 113. Remember the word which Moses, the servant of, of the Lord, commanded you, saying, the Lord your God has given you rest. Stop. And has given you rest. Mm -hmm. Isaiah 62 and 7. Now all the children are together. Israel, all of them on one side right now. Right? Mm -hmm. They're on one side. Uh, they're one seven. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's it. Six two, six two and seven. And give him no rest till he establish, until he make Jerusalem a praise in the earth. Jerusalem is the doctrine. It's not that corner land. Okay, you can write down, but we y'all know it. Isaiah, mm -hmm. uh, Jeremiah three. Yeah, yeah three one and two. Mm -hmm. Then uh, Zechariah okay. 12 and 6. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and Zechariah 8 and 8. Mm -hmm. Go back to Joshua 1 and 14 again. Let me tell you what he's telling Joshua. Everybody's your, on one side. Everybody's on one side. Mm -hmm. See, your wives, your little ones, and your cattle shall remain in the land which Moses gave you on this side, Jordan. See, he's talking double right now. Mm -hmm. He said, keep this doctrine mm -hmm. on this side, this doctrine. Jerusalem in your mm -hmm. head. Read. On this side, Jordan, but ye shall pass before your brethren armed. All the mighty men of Val them. Stop. On. Oh. Ephesians 6 and 11. How you gonna be armed? Remember, we all together, the children of Israel is on one side of the river. Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11. Put on the whole armor of God mm. that ye may, be, ye, ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. The tricks of the devil. So you go back to Joshua 1 and for that. Um, You're at 15 now. 15. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. He said, and help them. Help them. Who are you going to help? Yeah, all the Israelites on one side. So who are you going to help on the other side? Read. Next verse. Yes, mm -hmm. verse. Until the Lord have given your, your brethren rest. Stop. As he had. Everybody's on one side. He said, give your brethren rest with that doctrine. Mm -hmm. Read. As he has given you, and they also have possessed the land which the Lord your God giveth them. Then ye shall return unto the land of, of your possession and enjoy it, which Moses the Lord's servant gave you on this side, Jordan, toward the sun rising. The understanding, Ecclesiastes right. 7 11. What he's telling them, <clears throat> read this doctrine, possess the other land. Those other doctrines, land, spiritually, mm -hmm. that land carnally with your doctrine of Jerusalem. That's right. That's what he's saying. He's speaking double. Yes, because that's what Christ was doing. Yes. He was correcting people's doctrine. That's yes. what and he was doing. That's how he was healing them. Yes, because they had rest. Yes. He said, you got rest. See, the thing is, I'm at rest because I know this is the doctrine. Now it's time to spread it mm -hmm. so I can get my brother rest. Yes. See that? Yeah. Yes. 
Yeah. All praise to the most high. That, 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 that's okay, good. All praises to the most high. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. But, but so you want to bring up something about that uh servitude elder. Yeah, we're gonna yeah. we're gonna uh we're gonna go over here to uh do the rhyme right quick. Shouldn't take too long. Right. Because mm -hmm. it occurred to me, <clears throat> you know, again, uh I got another story to tell here. You know? <laughs> 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 the story I got to tell is about these uh these camps, the way that they tell you. You can tell a person is an Israelite because they're going to be the people that go into slavery on ship. And they generally go to Deuteronomy 28 and 68. And we're going to read it. <clears throat> and they say, I'm going to kind of explain it how they explain it. Read that for me, Elder. Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Stop, with... stop, stop. What's Egypt? House of bondage. They say go over to Exodus 20 and 2. Egypt is slavery. So it's saying, and the Lord shall bring thee into slavery again. How? With ships. With ships. With ships. Who that happened to? <laughs> Who that happened to? American blacks. That happened to yeah. the black people. Right? right? Yes. All right. <clears throat> Read on, Elder. <clears throat> By the way whereof I speak unto thee. The same way Moses said it was going to happen, that's how it happened. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. It is your homeland. I'm just bringing it out how to get taught on the street. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> All right. Read and on. And there. And there. And when you get over there into that land, there. You shall be sold unto your enemy. Who was we sold to? The white the man. man. We were sold white to the white man. <laughs> so he most high calling the white man the enemy. Read. For bond men, slave and bond, men, and bond women, slave woman, and no man shall buy you. Buy is an old Quaker word. It means <laughs> redeem. Yep. Yes. That's what he say. That's what that's the understanding on the street. Now I ain't <laughs> seen no precepts, but again, <laughs> it's an <laughs> old Quaker word. Can I say something, sir? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> When you when when I'm reading it, I'm seeing these words and y'all teaching us that they mean other things like the yes. ship and Egypt, yes, and yes, bondage and yes, it means something El totally El different. Elder, elder, your hand and gone because he did a class on this, and if anybody yeah. want to see it, they can go yeah, back. Uh, the but Hidden Mountain, he got mm -hmm. a show about Deuteronomy 28, debunk. Right, yep. but you know, uh, this gets and he's gonna explain it to you after I tell this little story, right? Uh -uh. <laughs> All right, but look at here, uh, rah, as we say where I'm from. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. When I was a uh, a young man in the uh, United States military, I got. Uh, sent and I was stationed in Germany right and you know over there in, uh, in the military they got their own TVs alright their own TV station called American Forces Network all over the world right and um uh, there's this particular commercial used to come on, right? Now, y'all know what we just read. We just read the, the, the prophecy of the Israelites 
going into captivity on slave ships. Now, that didn't happen to any other people in the world, right? That's how it's taught, right? That's how I was taught. Okay, yeah. good. Now, while I was over there, they used to play this old commercial about our American military history. And that was this guy they talked about, this guy by the name of O'Banion. All right, Lieutenant O'Banion, something like that. And they talk about this is the heritage of the Marines, right? And the man start talking about how Lieutenant O'Banion, there was these people by the name of the Barbary Pirates. The Barbary Pirates were North African, right? And these North African pirates, now y'all know, over there by Morocco, it's a small little area between where Spain in and Morocco begin. Y'all know that? Yeah, over yeah, there yeah. by Gibraltar and all that other stuff. Yeah, I know yeah. ain't nobody in here the you know got the the 411 on 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 uh, geology and all that other stuff. But there's a short straight between Africa and Europe. Well, there were these pirates that were kidnapping Europeans. And it happened a number of years, somewhere in the neighborhood of 250 years. And they were going in and they were kidnapping these European, these white folks, and they was taking them to North Africa. And them white folks got tired of it. And there was this fledgling country by the name of the United States of America. And they sent this fighting force with their Navy, this monstrosity called a Marine. Now all of them today look like Uncle Fester's children with the haircuts, right? But back in the day, they were a fighting force of the Navy. And they sent these men. Now, everything I'm saying is written, right? They sent these men to Tripoli. And they went over there and overthrew them pirates and killed them and released all of them slaves those white slaves that the people from the Barbary coast were stealing right now whenever you hear them talk about the Marine Corps anthem or whatever from the halls of Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. Tripoli is talking about when the Marines went and killed the Barbary pirates in order to free them white folks that they had been uh, kidnapping for 250 years. So now y'all starting to figure out that white folks went into slavery on ships too. Y'all see that? Now, all of them old people who gonna start talking that Uncle Tom thing, let me tell you something. The Most High ain't never said no Uncle Tom ain't gonna make it into the kingdom. But he said Elijah yeah. ain't gonna make it. Yeah, I know right. he said that. That's right. That's so right. I'm getting in on the truth teller angle, all right? 
But all y'all liars who want to keep telling these lies about the black people, the only ones that went into slavery, y'all ain't going to get in there with that lie. All right? Now, when you start talking about North African, it's something I learned about North Africa from a now current bishop over at Israel United in Christ. Guy by the name of Yahweh Saab. You, that's right. Mm -hmm. The man gave us a detailed understanding of this guy mm -hmm. by the name of Hannibal. Mm -hmm. And it's a particular region that he was from. Tunis, Tunisia, Libya, that region over there. That's where Africanus came. Guess who the Barbary pirates were? Y'all starting to get it? <laughs> it was the Israelites putting the white folks in the slavery. <laughs> y'all see that? Now, y'all might think I'm lying. Now, we don't often do this because, you know, the most I say, you know, just use my Bible, right? But what we're doing is we're doing just like what David did. Now, when David fought that giant, right, you know, he, he didn't have a sword, right? So he took Goliath's sword and he cut his head off with it. Now, what's the sword? Spiritually, yeah, what's the sword? The we gonna put the precepts down there at the bottom so y'all can see it. The word. <laughs> the <laughs> word. Okay. We got it. That's right. That's it. Oh, and why on it? The sword that, is the word. That's right. Now they're going around saying David was a murderer. But he right. <laughs> hey, but, hey, but he was a very holy man. That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So he both. <laughs> he yeah. both a murderer and a holy man. Yeah. And, he, and the most I say he's gonna be the prince he over Israel for eternity. <laughs> and he did Samuel like that too. Did he right. say Samuel was like that? Samuel dicing up the king of uh, yeah. right, 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 right. <laughs> oh my god. Right, holy right, man. right, right. Um Amalekite <laughs> king, yeah. Thou yeah. should not kill, but all right. of a sudden God say, kill him, murder them. Right. Call me. I'm a, I'm Mr. Oh, Slice and Dice. <laughs> Anywho, <laughs> when he said he took his sword, that said David took Goliath's words and used them against him. Himself, yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. When it says that he took that man's sword, as Anwar said, his word, and mm -hmm. used it against him. He said he used that man doctrine to prove he was wrong. That's what we about to do when we go and click on this thing over here on Wikipedia. Because that's they sword. Y'all understand? Now y'all see we fulfilling prophecy. <laughs> Look out. Hey, everything we do in the Bible. <laughs> Y'all see that? And it, I think that here's that thing. Look at how. Y'all see how close. That's Spain. That's yeah. Morocco. Y'all see how close. Y'all got that? Tunisia. You see that? Libya. Y'all see. Morocco. Y'all see that? Right, <laughs> so these the people that was going over here because it said it was all over Europe. They was um, they was going, but we'll just read it and then y'all to see for yourself because it's talking about these was black folks putting white folks in slavery. Y'all see that? And they're gonna mix up the word. Mm -hmm. They're gonna say, "Oh, they was Moors." 
they gonna mix it up. <laughs> but but yeah, more, more. more of the black people. <laughs> yeah. More mean black. Yeah. <laughs> you know how they gonna do it over there at IUIC. They gonna yeah, oh, but oh, no more. See, no, no, no. You know. He that. already said the Moors was the Israelites. You they see that? gave plenty of classes on. You see that? Y'all yeah. see that? Mm-hmm. So the most high telling you something. But these people we about to talk about fit the prophecy of Deuteronomy 28.68. Y'all see that? Go ahead and start reading this thing, uh, uh, Elder Yohan. <clears throat> Why serve me? The Barbary <laughs> free slave trade involved slave markets on the Barbary coast of North Africa, which included the Ottoman states of Algeria, Tunisia, mm-hmm. and Trip. Tripolitania and the independent sultanate of Morocco between the 16th and 19th century. The Ottoman say that again. Hold on, hold on. Between what time frame? The 16th and 19th century. Now y'all see that's quite a few. That's a quite a few years right there. Yes, yesterday. <laughs> right. <laughs> Read on. This is the Ottoman states in North Africa were nominally under Ottoman suzerainty. Yeah, suzerainty. <laughs> yeah, suzerainty. Yes. Yeah. Mm-hmm. European slaves were acquired by Barbary pirates in slave raids on mm. the ships by and by raids on coastal towns from Italy mm-hmm. to the Netherlands, mm-hmm. Ireland, mm-hmm. and the southwest of Britain, as far as north as Iceland and into the eastern Mediterranean. That's the talking Ottoman- about white folks. Everybody that these people, these what is it called? It a slave raid. Slave raid. That means the people from those places that he called off. It said uh, coastal towns from Italy to the Netherlands, Ireland, southwest of Britain, far north as as far north as Iceland, and into the eastern Mediterranean. Those are white people. Yeah, I that's don't being know put anybody. into slavery. Black that live in Iceland. Correct. To this Iceland. Day. Iceland. <laughs> yes. I know that's right. Iceland and Netherlands during the 16th and 19th century. Right. There wasn't hordes of black people living up there. Right. <laughs> but read on. The uh, the Ottoman the Ottoman Eastern Mediterranean was the scene of intense piracy. Mm-hmm. As late as the 18th century, piracy continued to be a consistent threat to maritime traffic. In the Aegean. Asian. Mm-hmm. Asian. Robert Davis estimates slave traders from Tunisia, Algeria, and Tripoli enslaved 1 million to 1.25 million Europeans in North Africa you from see the that? beginning of mm-hmm, from the beginning of the 16th century to the middle of the 18th. These numbers do not include the European people who are enslaved by Morocco and by other raiders and traders of the Mediterranean Sea. So this is separate numbers. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> this are only the ones from, from, from Europe. It's more than that. But that man said it's estimated to be a million to 1.25 million. That ain't just a few people. That's a multitude of people. Now we've been saving this for a while, right? Because mm-hmm. now they done already made the determination. Everybody marked for death. So everybody got to choose. We putting before them life or death. Now you can believe or not believe. That's up to you, right? But what I'm telling you is them people went and put them white folks in slavery. That means... If the determination of who the Israelite is, and let, just so y'all know, we don't care whether they white or black because we understand the real Jew has the doctrine. Romans 2, 29. That's the only thing that matters. But these men, they got everybody distracted. Got all of these black people sitting up in there saying, well, you know, 
uh, being that I came, oh, my forefathers came over here in slavery, I automatically have an opportunity at salvation, right? But we're showing you according to their rules because we're using their sword, right? Because that's what they use. Their Bible is Wikipedia. Yes. Right. We using they saw it to let you know that according to their beliefs, their beliefs, it can't. Then you you actually have to include white folks because they went into slavery on ships, Absolutely. pirate ships. Y'all got that slave ships, pirate ships. But the people on the ship is still slaves y'all get it yeah. that's right bro. right maybe they was the only ones and we're not defending right. um uh no certain slavery people. we're not defending anybody no, no. what we, that thing you say um uh, uh martin luther king said about injustice a threat of justice anywhere is a threat of justice everywhere that's right right so we don't agree with no slavery and we ain't saying that the people that went and put black people in the slavery were righteous in what they did all those people that hated their brother the most i say they can't get salvation that's right nope so they going they going to get punished that's what the most i say he said you right. ain't your brother you can't get the kingdom so if he going to punish them why y'all trying to hold everybody accountable for something somebody did back in the day? The most I already said he gonna judge. He don't need your help. He All need he need the Israelite to do is to teach him. That's he it. don't like that. You need to change. But yeah. that ain't good enough because they so filled with hate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now maybe those was the only people. Let's go over here to Another one of these swords. Talking about this history of uh, slavery for these Philippines. Yeah, because they call them Ammon, Ammon or Moabites, right? Ammonites. Yeah, they call them Ammon and Moabites and all that other stuff. Let's see what the what. Let's see what happened to these people right here. Cause y'all know Spaniards is white people, right? I know mm -hmm. nowadays they say, you know, like the Hispanic people come from, you know, down in South America and all that, but they originated in Europe. These are white people who went and put these Asian people today. Well, they, they call them Moab or they call them uh, uh, Ammon or whatever they call them nowadays. Because, you know, everybody have to follow uh, the, the tribe chart that those guys came up with because you know somebody wrote that well somebody might have used the word ammon to describe these people so whatever they told you about who's who in the world you supposed to follow that all right so we don't believe in all of that filth and all that foolishness regardless of what your race is if you get that doctrine you get the kingdom but we're gonna go through with this exercise just so we can prove a point. Mm -hmm. slavery, ahead, was uh, right, slavery was widespread in the Philippine Islands before mm. the archipelago was integrated into the Spanish Empire. Mm. It was it was also common among during Spanish rule. So this was yes. done before that. Yes. There was slavery on ships. Mm -hmm. Policies banning slavery that the Spanish crown established for its, its empire in the Americas were not extended to its territories in the Spanish East Indies, which included the Philippines. The, the Philippines. Vice mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The vice royalty of New Spain, Mexico, ruled the Philippines administratively, and the terminus of the Manila Galleon in Acapulco saw the importation of Filipino slaves to Mexico who were labeled Chinos. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. Spanish crown mm, Spanish crown policies regarding the favorable treatment of indigenous populations of the Americas were passed very early while the prohibition of slavery of Asians I say it again while the prohibition of slavery of Asians y'all hear that was not enforced in the Americas until the 18th century 
when African and Asian slavery was beginning to be outlawed altogether. Y'all see that? Because them Asians, the Asians was, was slaves whenever they came over there. They're the ones who built that railroad. All right. They were bringing them Chinese people over here. It wasn't just the Filipinos. A lot of people came over here as slaves. Y'all see that? Mm-hmm. Hey, go down to slavery in Spanish rule Philippines. We'll start there. When Spaniards conquered the archipelago, many Spaniards seized natives in various parts of the country. Filipino slaves were taken to New Spain. New and Spain were is Mexico. Mm-hmm. Chino Esclavo. Mm-hmm. So that's the uh, Chinese slaves. That's what it means. Yes. Mm-hmm. Does Chino mean China? China. China. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Filipinos could be kept as slaves in the Spanish territories, while the natives of the New World were forbidden to be sla- made slaves of. Only after, during the 17th century, were new laws written against slavery of all people. Read that again. Only after, during the 17th century, were new laws written against slavery of all people. Later on. Oh, I slipped. I slipped. I just slipped it. The division yeah. of the Luzon into the Encomidas created a form of compulsory work for the Encomaderos, who were given the responsibility I'm sorry, yeah, of evangelizing the natives working for them. Many held workers for household chores. However, it is ar- arguably whether these workers were slaves in the common sense of the word. A Portuguese visitor noted that there was no Spanish soldier who did not have a Indio, Chino, or native worker. <laughs> even the religious houses held at, ha- held at least one. So even the church had them. Mm-hmm. The king, however, after hearing about this, appointed a minister called the protector of the Indios to investigate and restore the liberty of the possible slaves. It seemed unfair to the encomenderos to generally abolish slavery, though as it would be, it would cause economic disruption. disruption. Yeah, you get the gist of what's going on, yep. right? Them Filipinos were slaves everywhere. Now, you know, uh, in my travels, I'm quite the world traveler. <laughs> and in my travels, every place I have been, been there has been a Filipino to yep. this day yep. those people are all over the world working yep. them some of the hardest working people on yep. the earth hey, Elder, click, yes. that, click the map right there click that map right where you at I'm going to show you the whole route so this shows this is the slave route it is a slavery on ships. This is the Asian people slavery on ships. Yes. So that's right. Are they Israelites according to your doctrine? Y'all see that? Because <laughs> I brought this. Uh, a matter of fact, I brought this information to a certain captain named Amaziah, mm-hmm. and he couldn't answer this. Yes. Y'all see that? That's slavery on ships. Am I right or am I wrong? I could be wrong. Wow. I never seen that. Yes. you right. I've never seen it. Elder, didn't you have something to say about that wash pot? <laughs> Elder Samuel. The wash pot. Go ahead and bring that, that on out. That. When David bring that was, scripture out. Yes. When he say, uh, uh, Boab is my wash pot. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. What a pot is. Pot is a vessel. <laughs> That's right. The washing is the word. Ephesians 526. Uh-huh. So when he said, Boab is my wash pot. He gonna wash him with the word. That's right. And he gonna teach. That's Remember, right. King David went to the king of Moab to hide his mother and father from the Israelites. Correct. <laughs> and also Edom, when he said cast out my shoe to Edom, he talking about casting off a covering. Yes. A covering it's for doctrine. the feet. Yes. <laughs> a foot is a doctrine. This that's foot right. is a doctrine. Ecclesiastes 5, 1 and 2. Yes, that's <laughs> that's a quick breakdown. Now, I challenge yes. you on that. I mean. Yes. I, yeah, so but, now, y'all mm-hmm. got the, the gist of what's going on, right? 
Well, now mm-hmm. I'm going to have Elder your hand and come back over here to do the run between 8 and 60. Oh, yeah. And we're going to see whether or not he can give us some understanding about what this thing actually is saying. I'm going to read for you, Elder. All right, go ahead, brother. Deuteronomy, <laughs> chapter 68. Excuse me. Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt mm-hmm. again with ships. So to get Egypt, let's go to Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Stay in the same book. Let's go do. Let's find out what the Egypt is. It's for the people at home who don't know, who don't know what the Israelite doctrine is, or don't know the spiritual doctrine. We got to find out what Egypt is. <clears throat> Deuteronomy chapter five, verse six: I am the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, the land of Egypt, out of the house. Of bondage. So Egypt, when they say it was slavery, it says the house of bondage. So they said it was slavery, but you're bonded to what house? What is a house? So let's go to let's find out what a house is. Let's go to Hebrews chapter three, verse four. We're gonna read down to six. We're gonna find out what a house is. Because people don't know what a house is. Everybody gotta know when he's talking about this Bible, we're talking about a church. But we're gonna prove that with scripture. All right. Hebrews chapter three, verse four. For every house is built by some man. So he's talking about your corner house is built by some man. Keep reading. But he that built all things is God. So we're getting about talking about the house of God. That's what we're talking about. Read. And Moses verily was faithful in all his house. So all his house, what is he talking about? Is Moses faithful in all his house? He's talking about his church. That's what he's talking about. He's not talking about his carnal house where you pay bills at. He's talking about his house, his church, his congregation. Read. As a servant. As a servant of God. For a testimony of those things which were to be spoken after. Uh Uh-huh. But Christ as a son over his own house. So Christ has his own doctrine. Read. Whose house are we? We are part of that congregation. Those all us on this on this podcast, those listening to this, and those who are on this panel are all part of Christ's house, the doctrine of Christ. Read. If we hold fast the confidence the and the, re- the confidence. That's the point of having this doctrine. You got to believe it. You got to hold fast to the confidence of this doctrine. These words are true. Read. And the rejoicing of the hope firm unto the end. So, we okay, that's one on, on, on for our house. Let's get another one for our house of bondage. Let's go to 1 Kings 8. No, let's go to Sirach 51, 23. We're going to cut it short. We're going to go through all these precepts. Because you can go watch the class if you want to. Go watch the full class. I'm just going to give you a brief synopsis of the class. That's Sirach 51, 23. Dealing with the house. It's a house of bondage. From Deuteronomy 5 and 6. Sorry, Elder, about that. No, no, you're good. Sirach what? Uh, Sirach 51, 23. So if you guys want to go back and watch the full class, go back and get the full class. I already taught in the hit map. We spoke of it earlier. It said, e- Ecclesiasticus or that's Sirach. It, it. Say what? That's it. Go ahead. Ecclesiasticus or Sirach 51, 23 in the Apocrypha. Mm-hmm. Draw near unto me, ye, earn, you, ye unlearn and dwell in the house of of learning. So what is we're talking about the Bible. So what would the house of learning be, uh, Prophet? Church. The church. So now go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68, please. Deuteronomy. So now we know that Egypt is the church of bondage. I shall bring thee into the church of bondage again with ships. Okay. So we are just showing you that. Egypt is not talking about a carnal, a carnal land. 
No. He's talking about, matter of fact, his land, right? He said the land is the land of your heritage, right? Mm-hmm. What is, what is, um, what is, what is the land? Doctrine. Jeremiah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We'll read it right quick. Mm-hmm. That's it. Jeremiah 3 and 1. They say, mm-hmm. if a man put away his wife, what's a wife? Mm-hmm. Doctrine. Doctrine. Okay. Mm-hmm. And she go from him and become, become another man's, shall he return unto her again? Mm-hmm. Shall not that land, he just called that woman, that, woman that land. doctrine, mm-hmm. land. Mm-hmm. Shall not that land be greatly polluted? But thou hast played the harlot with many lovers, yet return again to me, saith the Lord. Mm-hmm. So he telling you, you done went to all these other doctrines. Now you want now you want him, you want to pray to him whenever you get in trouble. Y'all see Leviticus that? Eight, mm-hmm. Yes, sir. Leviticus 18 and 3. So he says he's gonna bring you back into Egypt again, the land of Egypt again. After the doings of the land doctrine mm-hmm. of Egypt, wherein ye dwell, shall ye not do. Mm-hmm. And after the doings of the land doctrine mm-hmm. of uh, Canaan, mm-hmm. whither I bring you, shall ye not do. Mm-hmm. Neither shall ye walk in their ordinances so the land right is the ordinances of those of both egypt and canaan that's okay. the doctrine y'all doctrine. see that mm-hmm. yeah, yeah let's go back deuteronomy 28 verse 68 Read there. and the lord shall Correct. bring thee into egypt again with ships so what is a ship let's go to psalm 107 yeah, it right. is. Psalms, let's go prove that one. Psalms 107 and 23. And what you say, sis, let, let everybody hear you. I said a man with the doctrine. That's right. Yes. That's correct. That's right. Psalms, what now? 107 and 23. I like the, I, like, I always like to go this route. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's other precepts, but this is the way I the path I like. <laughs> I'll praise the most high. Mm-hmm. See, Jerusalem, which is above, is free. You got freedom to right. do it how you want to now. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah you're in Jerusalem right now. That's bro. right. You're in right. Jerusalem, I brother. Right <laughs> <laughs> Psalms 107, 23. They that go down to the sea in ships uh-huh. that do business in great waters do business and great waters keep going what's the water okay so okay this... yes. <laughs> mm-hmm. uh, okay 18, 18 16 yes the uh verse 24 these see the works of the lord and his wonders in the deep the deep yeah. So we can get to the deep understanding. That deep deep understanding. That's the right. Deep understanding. Go back to, he said, he said, uh, do business on the sea. The, the, go back a verse to 23. So we're going to deal with that. That do business in great waters. I asked this question on my class. I'm going to ask it to you guys. Who does work on water, whether it be a lake or an ocean? Who does work on that? Who does business? Who conducts business out there? A fisherman. What type of fisherman? That's, right. That's, That's right. That's right. So let's go to Matthew four seventeen. A fisherman. That's who does business. You're right on top. Right on point. Matthew four seventeen. Yeah. So this is Christ speaking. This is red, right? Mm-hmm. Matthew chapter four, verse seventeen. From that time, Jesus began to preach and say, Repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. It's the doctrine he's teaching. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And Jesus walked by the Sea of Galilee. Is sea water? 
Right. I know yes. everybody knows. Yes. yes. These are yep. These are bottle of water, right? Let's go. Walking by the sea. So what mm -hmm. were they doing? <laughs> what were these two brothers the doing? Sea. That's right. <laughs> That's <cheap>. right. <laughs> old prophet laying down that old stick now, bro. Right. 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 <laughs> Saw two brethren, Simon and uh, Simon called Peter and Andrew mm -hmm. his brother, casting a net into the sea <laughs> for they were fishers what they oh, do they do <laughs> catching men converting yes <laughs> that's right <laughs> yes. he got it boy he eating them up wow. hey, right. hey elder yes sir one script they doing the same thing in the street go to Isaiah 51 and 20 right now mm -hmm. he's catching <laughs> men Right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. This is this is the problem with these kids in the street. <clears throat> Isaiah 51 and 20. The sons have fainted. They forgotten their spiritual interpretations. They lie. That's the reason why. They teaching <laughs> carnal. At the head of all the streets. <laughs> <laughs> As a wild bull in a net the bull could we already broke that down levitical uh sacrifice a bull yeah. could be many yeah that's a right. prop that's prophets as a body mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so that they mm -hmm. they they mm -hmm. uh-huh they are full of the fury of the lord they mad about what happened that was the judgment to happen the rebuke of thy god see that that was supposed to have been your, your correction to learn from your mistakes. Don't right. do that again. Right. When God told the Israelites to convert the whole world, that was the punishment right there. When you put anybody else on top of your head, besides God, if you put your leadership on your head, you are in violation. The only one supposed to be on your head is God. Period. Point blank. He cannot serve man. And, and serve God at the same time. You got to put mm -hmm. God first. That's the biggest problem they got in this. Mm -hmm. That's it, Elder. Mm -hmm. Where you at, Elder? Back, uh, back, to, back to Matthew. Matthew 4, 17. Yeah, 18. There we go. So we say he's casting because they were fishers. Next verse. And Jesus, walking by the Sea of Galilee, saw two, brother, two brethren. Simon called Peter. Mm -hmm. And Andrew, his brother, casting a net into the sea, mm -hmm. for they were fishers. Uh huh. And he saith unto them, Follow Christ me. Christ said to both of those brothers, he said, This is what Christ said to both of those brothers, Follow me, and I will make you fishers of men. That's your fisherman. Keep going. <clears throat> Gonna keep going next verse. So that's your fisherman. Just to do business on the sea. Mm -hmm. Read. And straightway they left their nets and followed him. Next verse. We're gonna talk about a ship. They get into a ship. <laughs> and and going on from thence, he saw other two brethren, James, the son of Zebedee. Mm -hmm. And John, his brother, in a ship. With in a what? In a ship. Oh, with hmm. with Zebedee, their father. So he was teaching. It's a congregation. The ship is a boat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> What's another boat that we know in the Bible? A What's big another one. ship that we know. Oh, a big one. That's right. The, the ark. The ark, right? That's so right. What was what was Noah doing on that ark? He was preaching. That's right. Uh, you see what I'm saying? That's the right. The ship yes. is a prophet, a man with a doctrine. That's, That's what right. Moses was doing on that ship. Was That's that when? Right. Uh, was it first? Was uh, Peter's the uh, eighth? The eighth person? KJV was that? Uh, the Moses, the eighth person. You know what I'm yes, talking about? So this is what Moses. Moses had an ark. This is what he was doing on the ark. <clears throat> I'm gonna bring that class out too. I was studying that too. <laughs> Noah's Ark. Second Peter two and five. 
and spared not the old world, but mm -hmm. saved Noah, the eighth person, a mm -hmm. preacher of righteousness. A what? A preacher of righteousness. So they just weren't sitting on a boat for 40 days and 40 nights. He was preaching. He was preaching before. And he's preaching. Read. Bringing in the flood upon the world of the ungodly. That's what Noah was doing. Noah was the ark. Right. He was preaching. That's all he was doing. Just like y'all doing. <laughs> right. Y'all bringing, bringing, <laughs> bringing, <laughs> bringing the flood. Y'all are bringing the flood now. Y'all see what's going on? Noah's ark is talking about y'all. Y'all get it? The prophets that's bringing the understanding. It's going to drown out that foolish doctrine that all these people teaching. Yes. Y'all got it? it. <laughs> go to go to Second Samuel 6 and 15. We get a chance. Mm -hmm. Hold on a second here. Second Samuel. David was doing the same thing. He had mm -hmm. an ark. Ark of the Covenant. Mm-hmm. Second Samuel 6, 15. So David and all the house of Israel brought up the ark of the Lord with shouting and the sound of the trumpet. To that. What's the trumpet? Doctrine. doctrine. That's your voice. Yeah. yeah, that's right. That's the doctrine. Isaiah 5, 81. That? Your so boy. he was preaching. He was preaching. Y'all see that? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So David had an ark. Yes. Mm -hmm. The Ark of the Covenant. What was in the Ark of the Covenant? <laughs> the Ark of the Covenant. Mm -hmm. Ark is a ship. You mean it was yeah. carrying a boat around? Uh, <laughs> they, say, they, they, say, they say he was dog go carry around a buffet table. Yeah, yeah he walked around with a boat. Hey, <laughs> boat walking around. The thing you said, uh, Jeremiah hit the hit the Ark. Hey, hey, in the cave. In the cave. In the oh cave. my God. Yeah, yeah hey, 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 carry that thing around, man. That thing has stage in it. Take four people boat. to carry that thing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he but David, David had them laws in his mind. That's what it's Jeremiah telling. Jeremiah was teaching the people that they are the ark. Yeah. Yes, You're right. That's right. Y'all got it. Yes. All Back right. They were following right. that doctrine. Yes. Yep. So right. we find out what ships are and we know what the house of bondage is so we're not talking about carnal slavery and we just already proved you that other people went into slavery besides blacks and hispanics yes that's and right american including white folks and including hey. white folks hey right now right now they're in slavery yes <laughs> they just don't know right. who they in right. slavery <laughs> hey they volunteer slavery right <laughs> That man probably kept them at 12 o'clock up in there, dog, on sweeping up them floors and mopping them floors last night. Right. <laughs> I'm tired. I want to get home to my family. You can as soon as y'all get through mopping these floors. Right. Wow. So now uh, it says, ahead. by the way whereof I spake unto thee. Okay, so now. So by the way, I spake unto thee. He's talking about preaching. Thou shalt see it no more again. What is the it you're not gonna see again? What is it? What is it? Is what does it mean? What do you say? What? What? Who, what? What? What did you say? You won't go see the doctrine anymore. He took yeah. it away. Yeah. Now yeah. look at that. Look at that. That's right. That's when that famine came. Why that old Anwar say you know the prophet is? <laughs> uh, asking all these questions, <laughs> I can't answer a question or two. I got a little bit. I got a little bit. Oh, yeah. praises to the Most High. <laughs> right. I got a little. I know a little song. That's right. <laughs> they never explain what that. They say you ain't gonna see your homeland again. Now they don't know that the land is the doctrine. Yeah. Now he's saying what it is, but he don't know what he's saying. Uh -huh. He ain't got no understanding. You ain't gonna see your homeland. He talking about them that land over there next to Africa over there. That place is a desert over there. And they fighting for that desert because they think God got something to do with that desert. When he talking about his doctrine. All right. Yes. But man always tries to be put himself in a power position with God. 
right? So they're going to take it by force. But that ain't the land he talking about. He don't care nothing about that land over there. Y'all see that? Mm -hmm. All right. So let's keep reading. And there ye shall be sold. Let's go. Romans 7 and 14. Y'all know what sold Romans. means? It's Romans 7 14. This how you're going to be sold. This how you're going to be sold right here. <laughs> sold into doctrines? Yep. <laughs> yep. Sold into lies. We're going to get it. Read it. Mm -hmm. Romans 7 14. For we know that the law is spiritual. Uh -huh. But I am carnal. Uh -huh. Sold under sin. So was you sin. sold a bunch of lies. That's right. <laughs> what sin? That's what you sold. Sin, well, sin you know, is what? Transgression of law. Transgression of the law. Which law? Carnal law. Spiritual law. The spiritual law. When you transgress the spiritual yes. law, because the carnal law is sin. We go, just gonna mm -hmm. go a little bit further up. That's right. Go to yeah six and six. six yeah. Go to six and six. This why it's it's so on the sand. But I am carnal. Let's see. Okay. Knowing so this, weird. that the old man is crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth we shall not serve sin. That old person is the man of sin. Mm -hmm. that old person they don't want to renew their mind they don't want to redo it that's right, so I, right hold, on. hold on we're gonna we, so y'all know what saying is we read it the other day mm -hmm. yeah old death this is first corinthians 15 55 old death which is the carnal where is thy steam old grave which is that carnal church where thing. is thy victory? Victory mm -hmm. is the spiritual. Mm -hmm. The sting of death is sin, Carnal. and the strength of sin is the law. The carnal <laughs> law. Y'all mm -hmm. see that? Carnal law. Yeah. carnal law is sin. Yes. Let me get one more. Let me go uh, first Maccabees in the pocket. So you were sold unto sin. Somebody taught you a carnal doctrine. Y'all got mm -hmm. that? That's what it's yep. saying. Let me go to uh, first Maccabees 113. We're going to read it for 15. We're going to get it plain. What you sold into. What he sold you into. What you were sold into. <clears throat> It's the same thing that's going on now. You guys, you guys got to remember, when you're reading the Bible, it's talking about today, your life today. It's not talking about 3,000 years ago. It's talking about right now and the current day. Right. right? Uh, we're going to go to the... Uh, yeah, 13, yes. The 13? Certain people. Yeah, it's 13. Sorry, 13. First Maccabees, 113. Then certain of the people were so forward herein Okay, so let's give a back story of what's happening. So the Greek doctrine started to take over Israel. And people started eating off this doctrine and started following that way. So this is what he's explaining what happened. It was wicked doctrine. So this is what's happening right now. That they went to the king who gave them license to do after the ordinances of the heathen. Of the other nations. So this is what they're doing. Read. Whereupon they built a place of exercise at Jerusalem, according to the custom of the heathen. Okay. Now, it was a place of exercise, not talking about a gym. It ain't talking about a gym. He's talking about where, where they you, exercise. Where you... They where they exercise their beliefs at. In the mind. It's in the it's, it's, mm -hmm. it's a church. Y'all got church. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They, they they converted them to their congregation. Right. That's what it's saying. Just think about this. You have exercise in there carnally because you have the MOV. What was it? Camp 101 or MOV? You yeah. exercise a place where they exercise and they doctrine. Right. They keep practicing. Yeah. Exercise means to practice. Right? Yes. <laughs> yes. 
they exercise, they, they learn the customs. Verse 15. And mm -hmm. made themselves uncircumcised, mm -hmm. meaning they forgot the law. Started following a different doctrine. They converted right. to their doctrine. Right. And yes. forsook the holy covenant and joined themselves to the heathen. The heathen is anybody who's not following the word of God. It's not talking about no other nations. Everybody who's not, when I say nation of Israel is not following God's spiritual law, is a heathen yeah. or a Gentile. Mm -hmm. Greek. And that scripture say, uh, 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 Israel should be as the heathen. Right. Y'all, 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 y'all know what I'm talking about. So he's mm -hmm. telling you that that even the Israelites, uh, they're gonna be as the heathens too. They ain't gonna know the doctrine. Mm -hmm. They don't know the doctrine. That's what it's saying. Okay. And were sold to do mischief. So to do mischief. Sold to do mischief. Sold to do what's what's mischief to the Lord? Sin. Yes. What's mischief? Yes. 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 So they were sold. They were told they could do all this type of sins, like lying against the Bible. Mm -hmm. Yes. So every they're breaking the law. So when you sold, you sold to do mischief. That's what he's talking mm -hmm. about. You were sold unto your enemy. You got so sold a different church. doctrine. You got yeah, sold right. a different doctrine. Other than the most high doctrine. We you know the trial to go. We're gonna go back to Deuteronomy twenty eight. I wanted to go different because we did we already got buy and sell that uh, mm -hmm. other class <laughs> yeah. coming out. Yes. So I, I'm trying to go a different route with that. That's where mm -hmm. I'm gonna <clears throat> and you should be sold unto your enemy. Who are your enemies? <laughs> yeah, I know Who are our enemies? We bring this up all the time. Are the enemies of your own household? Yes. Could be. Yeah. 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 Of your own church? Could be. I could be my own worst enemy if yes. I follow my mom. Yes. What did you just say, sis? Yeah. What the, all the dog things. What, did, what did you say, of uh, uh, prophetess? I, I could be my own worst enemy if I'm not following the word of God. You I'm are not your own worst enemy. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. Romans That's, 6 and 6. Yes. You are your worst enemy. The yes, old no. man in you. Yes. Exactly. Uh, one yes. script. One script. Yeah, go ahead. Go ahead, Elf. Uh 1 Corinthians uh, 15, 31. Oh, almost there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so can I just say something? So you're yes. saying if I... If I don't convert, then I'm my word. I'm my own enemy because I'm not following um, the uh, laws of God. Correct. Mm -hmm. So until I can kill that old man that's yes. inside of me, which is your carnal mm -hmm. beliefs. Go ahead. Right. And if I can kill that carnal man inside of me, then I can convert. But until I do that, I haven't converted. Correct. Right. Okay. Yes. If you still yes, believe in that carnal interpretation, right. yes, mm -hmm. you you are your own enemy because you you not allowing yourself to convert because okay. you got pride. Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? First Corinthians 15, 31. I protest by your rejoicing, which I have in Jesus, in Christ Jesus, our Lord. I die daily. Yeah. He destroyed okay. an old person every day. Okay. That right there, mm -hmm. that okay. right there is very important. Mm -hmm. one, more me, one more scripture. Uh, Before you uh, go there, when, it, when he's saying, like, every time you pick up that Bible, the first thing you do, you start reading that thing and you be reading it calmly. Then you'll get a little further down the road and then you'll say, what is that thing actually talking about? But a lot of people... They have to. They have to kill their uh, their understanding that they was taught about what it means. Yeah. You see, what I'm saying every day you read that book, you got to fight that carnal that's trying to tell you. No, actually, you know he he went into that. He went into that whale belly. Now he did go in the bed. Now you sitting there thinking that in your mind, or you know, well, Christ <laughs> after he died, he did come back and talk to those men. You still believe in that because that's that kind of belief in you because it was beaten into you. You got to fight that thing and get the real okay. understanding of what it's saying. Y'all got day. that? Yeah. yeah. Where you going it. to next, Elder? Go to. Hey, Elder Yana. Let yeah, me go do ahead. This. 
one. Okay, okay, you cool. Okay, yeah, Daniel yeah. chapter eight and verse ten. You have to destroy this person every day. Do not hate. That's the number one thing. Don't mm -hmm. hate. That's the number one thing. Don't hate. Yeah. Yes. Daniel chapter 8, verse 10. And it waxed great, even to the host of heaven. Now, we know we're talking about the, uh, the host of heaven, these people being elevated, okay? Mm -hmm. And it cast down some of the host and of the stars to the ground. We already clarified stars of man, Numbers 24, verse 17, to the ground, carnal understanding. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and, and he used so go ahead him. and stamped upon them he used his foot which is his doctrine mm -hmm. foot, and in the part of the body is your doctrine read yeah he magnified himself even to the the prince of the host and read. by him the daily sacrifice was taken away stop What's the daily sacrifice we just read? First Corinthians 15, 31. That old person. Oh man. Yeah. So sacrifice when he that old teach, man. Mm -hmm. When he teach hatred, you can't kill that old person in you. Because Nathaniel, I U I C recreate that old person every day in this congregation. You taking away those people's daily sacrifice for the most mm -hmm. high. Y'all see that? Every time mm -hmm. he teach a, a class, he oh, give yeah. you another reason to hate everybody, including your brothers. That's your daily sacrifice That's right your now. Daily sacrifice. You see that? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, read on. And and the place of his sanctuary was cast down. Cast down. Mm -hmm. Read. And an host was given him against the daily sacrifice, daily sacrifice by reason of transgression. That hosted that old person. Read. And it cast down the truth to the ground. That's what down? The truth to the, the ground. To the carnal, the spiritual understanding was cast down to the carnal understanding. Read. And it practiced, there go that gem again. Y'all yeah. see that? Yeah. yeah. It. And it practiced and prospered. That's his doctrine. That's his doctrine. That's it, Elder. Okay. It. But you supposed to sacrifice that old person every day. That's right. Every day. That's right. And he, 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 he putting it in you. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's his invention. Nothing. Yes. We know. We know who you are. You can you also can lie. Don't hide. We know that. Y'all was saying. Practice and process is exercising it. Yes. Yeah. Say that again, Elder. The practice and process in process. Yes. Exercise. Yes. Yes. The same as exercise. That's what it's saying. That's that Jim is talking about. Yes. They think it's talking about. They'll come and tell you, yeah, they was uh, they built the gym and all the men was naked in the gym and all. <laughs> they just making that stuff up, man. Oh my God. What what a naked man in the gym got to do with your salvation? Uh, it ain't got nothing to do with your. Most high, you mean to tell me the Most High made that man write that book to tell you about a naked man in a building? Come on, man. <laughs> they, them, them, they so stupid, man, because they yes. ain't telling you nothing. They're not giving you anything that's going to help you to get understanding. That's right. All praise the most high. Where you at next, uh, Elder Johanna? Uh, go, back to, go back to 68. <clears throat> and it says, oh, and, that. I was at the, uh, uh, and there you shall be sold to your enemies. Mm-hmm. For bond right. men and bond women, and yeah. no man right. shall buy you. So no man shall buy you. What's a what's a woman? Well, with the woman. What's a woman? What is a doctor? Now let's get rock fifteen and one. That's yeah. right. They said it. But we gonna yeah, go to it. Yeah. That's where I get it. <laughs> so Lead with, with the is. best one. What's the mm -hmm. best one? The <laughs> <laughs> Rock 15, baby. It's the best one. <laughs> right. 
Mm-hmm. Ecclesiasticus, Sirach, in the Apocrypha, chapter 15, verse 1. He that fears the Lord will do good. <laughs> what's, the, what's good? God is good. God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So he's he's a spirit. You gotta worship him in spirit and truth. So we're talking about the mm-hmm. spiritual law, the, the spiritual law. All right. And he that has knowledge of the law shall obtain her. 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 All right. So that's a female. Mm-hmm. Comparing that female to the law. Verse two. And as a mother, another female, Mm -hmm. shall she, pronoun, meet him (laughs) and receive him as a wife, another female, Mm -hmm. y'all see that, (laughs) married of a virgin. Now, the most I ain't told you to marry your mama. Right. (laughs) That ain't what that's saying. He just showing you. All of those feminine words is talking about doctrines. Verse 3. With the bread of understanding shall she feed him and give him the water of wisdom to drink. A woman mm-hmm. is a doctor. The bread, the bread is John 6, 48. Mm-hmm. John 6 51 and um, Matthew 4 and 4. 4, and 4. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go to Galatians 4 23. 23 and 24 is what I want. <clears throat> I'm going to show you what the bond woman is. A bond, what's, it, what's a bond woman? Mm-hmm. Go, ahead, go back one, go back one, the 22. Yep. Boy, it is written. There it is. <laughs> Galatians 4.22 (laughs) For it is written that Abraham had two sons Mm -hmm. one by a bondmaid one by a bondmaid that's a doctrine a maid Mm -hmm. is a woman a woman Mm -hmm. is a doctrine Mm -hmm. the other by a free woman so that's another doctrine Free doctrine mm-hmm. versus bond doctrine. Right. One of them carnal, one of them spiritual. There's, Y'all see that? Yeah. Right. gonna explain it. You're gonna explain it. <laughs> but he who was of the bond woman was born after the flesh. <laughs> mm. So you were sold to a bond yeah. men mm-hmm. and bond women. So you were bond man. You was born after the flesh. Born after mm-hmm. the carnal understanding. Mm-hmm. What we mean by carnal understanding, people, is when you read the book and you actually thinking that Abraham had two women at that time. Yeah. Two physical, actual women. That's what it's telling you. That's that's bond. You're you're bonded to that belief. You're captive. You're laid captive to that belief. That's a bond woman. Read. But he of the free woman was by promise. But the God promised you to give you back this this doctrine. He's gonna explain it in the next verse. That prophecy. Mm-hmm. Which these things are an allegory. Drop the bomb, please. Boom. The bond woman is a allegory. All that's talking yes. about is allegory. A bond woman is not talking about actual uh, but your soul for a bond woman. It's all talking about allegory. So it means your doctrine. It's an allegory. And these are talking about covenant. Mm-hmm. When it's talking about a bond woman, it's talking about a covenant that you entered into. Oh, yeah, I'm the, sorry, I jumped ahead. No, 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 you, you're doing great. For these mm. are the two covenants. <laughs> <laughs> the one from the Mount Sinai, which in which gendereth to bondage. <laughs> so Mount Sinai is a mount of sin. That's yes. what it means. Yes. Sinai, Sinai means sin. That's what it's talking about. You went to the Mount of Sin, which gendereth bondage. That's just sold into as a bondwoman. That's what it's talking about, right? Which is Hagar or Hagar. Hagar. Mm-hmm. Next verse. For this, this Hagar. Is what you're not going to see again. 
For this Hagar is Mount Sinai in Arabia. Mm -hmm. Remember we showed you Paul whenever he stopped being a Pharisee, he went to Arabia. Arabia. That's what mm -hmm. it's talking about. Y'all see that? And answereth to Jerusalem, which now is. Jerusalem has come back. Y'all see mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. And is in bondage with her children. So that's a bond man. <laughs> Keep you going. But Jerusalem. This is what you won't see again. Hold on, let me get that. This is what you won't see again. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free, which mm -hmm. is the mother of us all. Proverbs 1 and 8. We're still dealing with that because we just seen in Sirach 15 that it says going to be a mother. The wisdom is going to be a mother. So we're going to back that up again. And you can't get around it. Proverbs 1 and 8. My son, hear the instruction of thy father. That and father is not talking about your carnal father that birthed you. He's talking about who taught you whatever doctrine. Who's teaching you? That Who's yeah. your teacher? That's your father. It's, yeah. It literally has instruction <laughs> in the precept. Right. Y'all see that? All right. right. Mm -hmm. And forsake not the law the of law. thy mother. So there it is. It's talking the about the law. The, the mother of us all is the law. He called Sarah the same thing, mother of many nations. Mm -hmm. I mean, the law of many nations. That's what it's yes. talking about. Yes. Back in Deuteronomy 28. Deuteronomy 28, 68. Pick up where we left off. And there mm -hmm. ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women and no man shall buy you. Buy you. <laughs> old Quaker word. Hey, old Quaker word. Go over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's an old Quaker word. That's an old Quaker word. Never showed it to you. <laughs> right. So buy guy. the truth and sell it not. Buy the truth and sell it not. What's that? Uh, Proverbs 20, uh, uh, 23, 23, 23 and 23? 23. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's the business. That's the business. Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Proverbs 23 23 Buy the truth And sell it not mm -hmm. Also wisdom And instruction And understanding That's what the truth is When the God said buy He says get this understanding And don't forget it yes. That's what he's telling you mm -hmm. Sell it means to forget it mm -hmm. Or give it away mm -hmm. Or put it away just like we showed last time when Esau uh, gave away his understanding to yes. Jacob. All right, he go got back, nothing bro. in return. <laughs> got nothing in return. <laughs> <laughs> so, can I ask you a question? Say, pot, yes, you, you can. Oh, yeah. <laughs> pot left. So, this is how you... I, I, I seen the um, video of um, Elder um, King Yohannan, um do this about the slave ships. So... They don't have a precept for that, right? No. In Deuteronomy 28 no. and 68. No. No. And um, I think what I'm gathering is that, yeah, y'all right, man. Anybody <laughs> can be. Yeah. Anybody. Yeah. This is not about, this is right. not about black and white. No. 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 It's about doctrines. He it's said with doctrine. two doctrines, man. Yeah. He said the bond woman. Yeah. And the free woman is two dots. What this is an Doctor. allegory. Yes, yeah, allegory. It's a mystery. They got to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. They mm -hmm. don't understand the parable. He, right. Paul literally told them, Hagar and Sarah, that's an allegory about now. The mm -hmm. carnal doctrine versus the spiritual doctrine. Everything is one versus the other. Say the two of them contrary. They war <laughs> against each other. Mm -hmm. That's what he's talking about. They don't know that. They think it's talking about literally white people putting black people into slavery. And now we just yeah. use they saw to mm -hmm. show you them white folks yeah. went into slavery too. And on ships. And, and that's that thing right there. 
my wife just just uh, told me, and I thought I thought about this a while back. Mm-hmm. When they say two nations in thy womb, what is the womb? Mind. The mind. Mm-hmm. The mind. Two nations in your mind, carnal, yes. spiritual. Mm-hmm. That's real. Carnal, spiritual. That's deep right there. Carnal, spiritual. That is very deep. It's yeah. in the mind. Yes. Your mind. So when that kid, that athlete, that kid on the street, what he's talking about is carnal. Yes. You yes. need to get the most highest interpretation. Yes. First Peter chapter one verse thirteen. Loins of the mind. Yes. So when that was you, we read it in what well, um, Jeremiah. I formed you in the womb. Yes. That woman that formed you. Right. That's right. I they, formed you first. That's what God said. In my mind, I thought you were. Ooh, there you go, Jeremiah. Yeah. He formed you in his mind right. before he created you. Because he created your spiritual first. Yes. Mm-hmm. They don't understand this level of understanding. It's pouring rain. Yeah. You better you better get that bucket and catch some of this rain. The That's bucket right. is you. You the vessel. That's right. But they so busy thinking we trying to overthrow them. Oh. Which man, you ain't in you ain't in charge of nothing. Yeah, the you're most not high in charge of this thing. And that little money that you're getting, I don't care what kind of money it is. <laughs> you can't spend it in the kingdom. It's no okay. good. Okay. <laughs> no, you can't spend it. Okay. No, you can't spend it there. This is raining. It's raining. <laughs> and that Egypt, and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt. Yes. Acts 739. This is what he's talking about. Man, God. Yeah. <laughs> all that money you no, ain't gonna get you in the kingdom, but it ain't gonna help you at all, bro. It can't help you dead. Hey, the Egyptians try to take it with them. <laughs> How that work out for them? Not very well, sir. Wow. Acts chapter seven, verse thirty-nine. To whom our fathers would not obey. Those wicked men, because you know Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, they they listen to the Most High, and the rest of those holy prophets. They listen. So these are wicked teachers mm-hmm. that they follow following. Read. But thrust him from them. Mm-hmm. And in their hearts. Mine. Mine. Ain't no man can fit in your chest. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you can think about them in your mind. That's right. Read. <laughs> And in their hearts turned back again into Egypt. Wait a minute. He said oh. you were going to go back to Egypt. But right here, he said you're going back to Egypt. Wait, mm-hmm. Boy, slavery. Yes. Oh, my God. Let me take a break. I'll be right yeah. back. <laughs> That's what you call debunking. <laughs> debunking them. That's what we doing. We ain't trying to. Them dudes think we trying to take Try to take their congregation, man. Your hey, congregation belongs to the Most High, man. What is you talking right. about? Right. <laughs> That's true. Is it? And oh, they... another thing. Let's, let's deal with that. Let me do. Because we talked about this earlier. Because I keep scriptures say correction is grievous to us. Y'all yes. cannot take correction. No. And, and here, here, here's the thing, right? We bring this out. It's y'all kind of say, "Yeah, hate the bishop." We don't hate me don't have time to hate the bishop. How is the Most High giving us this information we hate somebody? He wouldn't right. give it to us. Right. He's giving us warning to tell you. Nathaniel, can't lie. All the rest of you, Yawasap, all you guys sitting there teaching are teaching lies. Yes. Warn them from me before I bring the destruction. Yes. Yes. That's the only reason why we're here to keep make sure you guys are on the up and up. When you guys start lying, then it's a problem. Yes. Right. Then we got to answer. Yes. We're not here to have hatred towards you. We're right. here to clean up the doctrine because the time is that the kingdom of heaven is at hand. The yes. world's about to end. Yeah. You have one job is to teach the world. That's right. So we're coming to you to, as the Lord put the spirit on us to come to you, to plead with you, to change your way before right. destruction comes. But you keep running from it and saying and lying to the people and saying that we hate you. We don't hate you. Actually, this is love. Right. Because our brothers and sisters still sitting in that congregation, getting lied to and getting robbed. 
Yep. But if you're going to sit there and be Satan, you're going to get the judgment of Satan. So I pray you repent. We always say that. We pray you repent. But to those who want to repent, all praises. Those who keep destruction to you. That's it. We have, we have no time for feelings. We have no time. We, we, we sitting there trying to hold our heart. Y'all crying. and We don't care. We right. care that you speak righteously. And you speak the oracles of God. And stop That's with that right. foolishness. Because you know you see our classes. You know we see. And you keep running back and going to the dictionary. We saw that, Nathaniel. Right. You know you saw the class. You know you're in violation of God's law. But you keep doing it. It's going to be bad. And you're going to have to pay for all of that. Everybody you lead in the stray, you got to teach again. What, what's the scripture say that they, he owes four? Four to one? Yes, for yes. That you, that you took away from the Lord, you got to repay him back for oh. And every That's one the of them, every one of them people that those men convert, if you go to Exodus uh, 21, it'll yeah. let you know about that bull. When that bull put that horn to somebody and convert them and he converting to you he say you can you can uh bargain your life for 30 pieces of silver 30 pieces of oh. silver is men and you right. ain't gonna be think about how many mm -hmm. men them people done converted man you'll never be able to so, pay that back to the most high all those hundreds of thousands of followers that you got that's converted that's away from the lord too. Yeah. you got to convert four times that much back to the Lord yes. to pay him back. That's so, right. That's the law. That's, that's right. So either way hey, you look you, at it, you're done. <laughs> you're that's done. what I was just thinking. <laughs> you can only get in there <laughs> with mercy. <laughs> you got to depend right. on mercy. So I pray that you start teaching right so God can give you mercy. Because if you keep the route you're going, you're not going to make that payment. You owe, God said he wants his recompense. He wants his payback. He needs his money back. He coming to collect. He won't. He won't. we the collectors. We're yeah. the collectors. That's right. <laughs> That's we right. To collect. So either you right. repent, follow the laws of God and teach it right. That's all we were saying to you. That's all we ever been saying. We don't hate your congregation. We don't hate none of these congregations. We don't hate the Christian church. We want the mm -hmm. Christian church to teach right. We don't hate the Israelite faction. We want you to teach it right. Mm -hmm. That's all we're asking for. We mm -hmm. don't hate the Catholic Church. We just don't like that carnal doctrine. Yes. That is it. That is it. Peace on earth is when everybody knows to love your brother as you love this one. That's right. That's we it. Here, but we're you here to pull the strongholds down. We're going to pull those That's strongholds it. down. And just so you know, we ain't going away. No. We're gonna no. keep we gonna keep teaching until it's over. Like yeah, I said, the beatings to will continue <laughs> until morale increases. <laughs> we ain't going nowhere. Hey, the beatings right. will continue until morale increases. That's right. <laughs>